Okay, here we go. We're going to um, do messages from your ancestors. Um, we have pile one, pile two. Take your time. Pause the video if you need to. If you cannot choose between pile one and pile two, um, don't worry. You can you can hang around and watch both piles. There could be messages uh, for you in each pile. So we're just going to do a quick five minutes on each one and um, see what messages your guides, your ancestors have for you, what they need you to know. We're starting off with pile one. Beautiful. You are never on your own, pile one. You always have somebody with you helping, assisting you, guiding you. Um, now, uh, depending on who you think you are here, uh, if you feel <laughs> very drawn to this magician here, that's fantastic. But many of you are actually this little dragon and this is your spirit guide here. He, you know, they're watching out for you. They're controlling, they're shielding you, um, you know, not quite controlling you, but they're making sure that you stay on your right pathway. Here you are. Now, what I am guessing is that it's a time of growth for you. Growth, um, transformation. You will be no more this this energy here you are improving yourself you are leveling up that can be quite challenging for the people around you um but um they will have to deal with it see <laughs> here they're reading your akashic record and they're seeing what is coming in next for you <laughs> Some of you, indeed, you even have pets that are close by, um, that are watching over you, they're with you. If you want to, I'm seeing here like a jump on the bed. So somebody could have felt something on their feet at night. Um, that is, uh, that is a, an animal, a spirit guide, a protector, a pet, an old pet here. What messages do we have? <laughs> I have tried recording this video about three times and this card keeps coming out first for you, pile one. It's definitely your message. You have more than one mission in this world and this lifetime here. So don't feel like you are failing at all. Life moves in stages. It's about lessons. It's about learning what, um, you know, learning, completing something because you are on a fast track ascension. So for example, uh, the family, your childhood, the family you were, you know, born into, that was very much part of your journey. Um, you're moving into a new phase, um, you know, part of your uh, journey could well have been to um, experience uh, parenting. I was going to say, you know, uh, I was going to say mothering, but sometimes if you have a pet, even that can be uh, an opportunity to mother, to nurture, to care for something other than yourself. I do get a lot of gardening references also. So some of you could be kind of taking up gardening or be very interested in, um, you know, growing plants. Plants, um, I always think when somebody says they can't look after a plant, uh, that it, you know, it always seems to die on them, then they're not providing clearly a, a nurturing environment where they, they're caring about what's going on. Um, when a plant is growing and it's looking very healthy and it's lovely and, um, you know, all of those things, it means the environment, the energy around you is just perfect. It's ideal for growth. And that's all we have here for you at the moment. It's a time for growth and transformation. Don't feel guilty about that. <laughs> this one keeps coming out also. This is very much a protective energy. But I need to say to you, your roots go back a long, long way. Oh, 
everything that's happening to you is part of a bigger picture it's part of a divine plan so just keep that in mind try not to worry um it's all unfolding for your highest and greatest good yes 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 say yes <laughs> Say yes to you. That's what I want to say. Say yes to you. Look after you. Um, you know, in whatever shape or form that takes at this time, you are looking after you. And so it's about, it's a time of self-care here the next couple of weeks. It's a time of building. It's a time of growth. Um, so you need energy to do that. You need strength to do that. Uh, so say yes. Oh, we have warrior energy. You are going to have to stand up for yourself um, over the next few weeks here. I am getting four weeks. Um, you will need to take charge also. There will be times where you need to take the initiative. You can't just sit around and wait for things to come to you. You have to go and seek them out or make it happen. Yeah, this is what I said, transformation. It is the card of transformation. This is what's going on for you right now. Um, absolutely wonderful message. I do need to just say here as well, some of you, you could be changing your diets. You could be wanting to improve your health in some way, um, you know, um, which is fantastic. That is all part of the big plan. It's all part of uh, what you have coming in for you what you have coming towards you now uh you may well need to um <laughs> you may well need to take a food intolerance test or some sort of allergy test here i'm just getting that it's not going to be for everyone that's just for some of you here now we're going to do uh one more card that will be our six cards Ooh, leap yes take a leap of faith um the universe will catch you um I want to say you have wings, you just haven't learned how to use them. You haven't learned how to fly. Um, I don't mean you need to literally go try flying here. What we mean is um, you decide what you want to do. Um, start taking steps towards that. The universe will make sure you are looked after, you are protected. Wonderful stuff. So pile one, that's an absolutely fantastic reading there for you. I love all the energies around you. Um, I hope you enjoyed and uh, some of that resonated with you and um, i hope you have a fantastic wonderful rest of your day now pile two hello welcome you have selected this beautiful dragon dragon energy is uh, absolutely magnificent um it's never gentle <laughs> i will just say it's never gentle now what i have to say to some of you here some of you are on uh, ley lines you're experiencing strong ley line energies um that's not going to be for everybody. That's just going to be for people that, that seem to be having difficulties at home at the moment. You think about ley lines as rivers or streams. Sometimes they're flowing fast. Sometimes they're slow moving. Um, at the moment, we've got a surge of energy. Um, so we've got fast flowing ley line energy running through your property at the moment. So what you may find is uh, difficulty sleeping. You may just not feel settled. You may just want to be, when you're at home, getting up, doing things. Um, like, almost like you can't rest. You can't quite rest. <laughs> um, so, I would say enjoy that energy. If you're somebody who doesn't always get things done, um, then um, it's a good time to really embrace that uh, get up and go energy of the dragon. Let's see what messages uh, we have for you today. Ooh, High Priestess of Spirit. Now, this is gorgeous. I don't think I've ever seen this lady, this card before. Doesn't she look fantastic? Now, I like how she matches as well the colors that were coming up on the dragon there look at that <laughs> ah 
yes. So I feel like here, you're definitely getting messages from spirit. I don't know if it's going to come out on the video so well, but there are lots of faces in the ether behind her. So she's trying to concentrate on two worlds. It can be quite challenging. If you find that you're getting a lot of um, tension headaches at the moment or pressure headaches or just a sensation around, you could also be experiencing ear trouble, um, you know, maybe a bit of tinnitus, some earache, um, even jaw pain. That if you feel like your teeth are hurting, it might not be your teeth, it could be your ear. Um, so a lot of pressure around the crown and the third eye areas at this moment. Obviously, if you're worried at all, make sure you do get medical advice on that. Um, but what we have here is this sense of those messages are coming through. Um, we don't always understand them we don't know how to interpret them but they are coming through dream time um sometimes outside of the dream time and that's that's probably uh worse <laughs> because um in the dream time we kind of we know what's going on and in that moment we can understand what that person or that um energy that entity is trying to say to us when we're awake we don't get it we don't get it so try not to be afraid or fearful this is all meant with love when um they're coming through coming close to you especially on the evening Ooh, lovely so we have here uh this is actually the card of deceit very fiery passionate energetic card here um the goddess name for this would be Nefret or Neferet. <laughs> speak properly. <laughs> um, this is a very ancient energy. It goes back um, a long, long time, back before the world was born. Deceit here. Mm. It's focusing in on you. But it's not to test you or to challenge you. It's it's for you to kind of uncover things. It's for you to figure things out. So although I say it's not to challenge you, it is challenging you in a way that you need to investigate. You need to look at the evidence in order to work out what somebody um, wants you to know. What they um, what they want. Sorry, my I don't know why this could be the problem that you're having. People don't seem to be understanding you. Um, no matter what you say, how loudly you talk, what words you use, people are still going, oh, sorry, pardon, what did you say? Um, now, that could go both ways. You may have times where you're starting to get a bit of that energy yourself here. But again, that will pass. You just kind of have to ride it out. That's going to go away in the next couple of weeks. It could well be coinciding with Mercury retrograde for you. We've got a couple of weeks left of that. But because this is a timeless reading, I do want to say the next couple of weeks, it just be mindful. For some of you, it's going to be six days. Six days and everything will, will go back. So if you can hold off sending um, emails, communication, texts, wherever you can for the next six days here, um, after that time, you, you, you won't have a problem. People know what you're on about. <laughs> focus, yeah. Right now, your focus should be on you. You should be focused on your goals, your targets, what it is you want to achieve here um, before the end of the year. You could have had big dreams at the start of the year and it feels like you haven't really got or, or made as much progress as you would like. So before the end of this year, you have plenty of opportunity between now and then to um, get that get that adjusted. adjusted. Oh, I can't speak. Right, here we go. Cycles. Yeah, look at that beautiful card. Remember that things run in cycles. This is actually, this is channeled here, okay? So remember that things run in cycles. Things will, things are always changing. So things never really stay the same. There's always something uh, new happening, something finishing off. So you can't have anything new until something has finished. Thank you. Thank you, spirit. Fragments. Yeah, maybe, yeah, a few of you here are feeling a little bit kind of, um, a little bit tired, a little bit like you've, um, there's something missing. I want to say there's something missing. Can't quite put the finger on it, but you know it's coming together for you. Um, this is like 
So maybe some of you are very aware of having a parallel existence or parallel lifetime somewhere. Treat this lifetime as though it was the primary, not the other lifetime. Okay, um, when you do that, you will kind of reform. <laughs> so you won't be so fragmented. You will, you will re reconnect with yourself. Um, and you'll have much more energy, free energy available to you um, in this lifetime. Oh, congratulations. Look at that. Congratulations. Success. Success is coming to you. Maybe that's why we have this sort of restlessness. We've got this strong ja uh, dragon energy around you at the moment uh, because we're bringing in success your way. Wonderful. So that's a gorgeous note to finish on. You had six cards there, pile number two. That was your um, guidance advices from the universe. I hope you enjoyed this reading and um, I will see you next time. Take care, everybody. Have a great day.